Hello friends, welcome back to Laravel 9 tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about what is the conditional clause for the query, right? So last few days we are discussing about the Laravel joining. So if you check my previous video, you will get that things links are provided in the description section. So I already covered the inner join and uh, lab join, right join, cross join, advanced join and subquery join, right? So all the things we are using the db so here actually i am going to use the allocant and using allocant we will use multiple type of a conditional clause so for now we have a table that is the student table i want to get the result from the student table and i will use depend depend conditional clause to face the records from this table right so this is my database name lara9 and the table name is students okay so let's create a function so simply write public function and uh, suppose use condition clause okay this is my function okay and let's call this from the route so that we can use this so route get and my function name is condition clause and here use the url that is condition clause so simply write condi channel close okay and then use this controller name i already using this controller so no problem we can access these things and now my function name is condition class so just use this here okay now just simply just go and return and hello let's see how my function is working so just go to this link and here it's simply just go to that url and let's see how it's working it's getting hello okay so now i want to use the student model for the student controller so if we just go to here this is a student model and i want to use the student model for uh, to get the result from the student table so here you can see we are using the e app model student okay so we are using the namespace of this model so now we can uh, write a query so simply and just uh, go into the function and simply write data equal to student colon and simply get okay so this is the basic query to get all the result from the student table so simply return the data and let's refresh so we are getting all the six records that is zero to five all the records okay now i just want to use the conditional clause how we can use this suppose inside my student table we have a status column i want to get only those record whose status is one so how you can add this so we have a where clause so just to use the where and this is the status column so simply write status one you can write in this way or simply if you want to write in more specifically so you can write this way also okay so this will get the same output okay no problem on that so we are getting only those record whose uh, status is one that is the three records okay now i want to get those record where status is one and also the um, age is more than 14 so how can you do this so simply you can use another where clause so simply just uh, write in this way so write where the age is more than 15 or more than uh, 14 okay so simply write age and just use the greater than sign and more than 14 okay and now just go here and refresh so you are getting only two records that is a 15 and 19 now it's eliminated this record okay now another thing if i don't want to use multiple where clause simply we can use in a single statement how can I do this so instead of that things i just closing this for now so that you can understand the difference so i just closing these things simply instead of that things if I write in this way so just write inside the array and I don't need this thing and inside the array 
whatever we need we can add the multiple conditions so using this this right using this array so simply just uh, copy this condition just right here also simply copy this condition and just right here it will get absolutely same output okay so we are getting the same output okay so we can use the where array also so that multiple condition we can add with a single clause okay now the next clause is between means if i want to get only those records where um, age is between 14 to 16 how can i do this so simply just write inside the where clause or there is actually um, uh, there is another clause where between okay and just pass the field name so just use the age so it will query with the age column and just write the range so i want to range between the 14 to 16 so simply write 14 comma 16 and now if you just uh, refresh this you will get those record whose age is 14 to 16 right and if i just want to use the uh, which age uh, be not between the 14 and 16 simply you can use not simple so just use the 12 19 right and 18 not 14 and 16 right so 46 is not appear now if i want to specify if I, I want to get the result of which age is 12 14 15 or 12 16 19 so how you can do this i don't want a 15 12 16 19 so how you can do this so we can set our array also so simply you can write where in and here i will pass the age so write 12 16 19 12 16 and 19 so it will get only those records whose age is 12 or 16 or 19 so simply just refresh 12 16 and 19 all right and if i just use the reverse just use the not in so it will get those records which are not in 12 16 or 19 up to this is clear i think it's clear so if you have any queries you can comment me in the below comment section now i want to show you some more conditional clause so suppose uh, here i want to get those records where updated id is null right so i want uh, so i want to get that things which have a null so simply just use the where null so you can understand how easy laravel uh, conditional clause so they created multiple things for easy use right so simply just pass here update update it at okay and now just go and refresh you will get the data which id uh, sorry update it is null okay and if i uh, don't want to get the property which have not null means simply use i want to get the result which have value so not null so we are getting all the records okay so let's move to uh, some date related function this is the very important things and uh, you need to use that every case so simply we have a function like date so if i just uh, going to see the date function so simply and just uh, go to the create date so there are multiple types of dates so simply use the create date so right here create it at and here i need to pass the format so create it at so where date means i want to get the result suppose i want to get these things 2019 march of 16 so simply it will get that record only okay and if i change to this it will get only this record okay that's simple very easy so you can use the sorry you can use the date function okay and i want to specify or i want to get the specific date which have a month same suppose uh, let's make uh, this the 2022 april and 194 okay so i just going to change manually to the um, four that is the april so i want to get only those record which have a april month record that means the month is four so simply how can i do this so instead of date simply we can write the month 
and just specify the month id or month serial number so 04 okay now it will actually uh, query with this particular uh, section with this particular section not how the date right so now if we just refresh you will get the two records okay so which have a created at between april okay and in a same way if i just use a where day it will still work so simply write day and uh, suppose i want to get the result which uh, suppose 10 okay so we'll get the two results so just use the 10 and you will get this two which have 10 okay so this is all about these things and if you have to and if you want to use the air simply just use the air so it will get only those records which have matching the air so suppose you just write um, 2016 so I think it will get one record or no record why so 2016 there is no record so just make it 2019 and let's see one record and if I just make into 2022 so it will get multiple records i think there is multiple records for 2022 so that's the reason it's appear okay so this is all about the condition clause for uh, allocant query so if you check the laravel documentation you may get uh, many more clause but all are the same types of things and actually the thing is uh, this is the very interesting and it will need in every section of your application so i think you will understand so still if you have any questions about this video please comment in a below comment section and next day we are going to discuss about the seeding right so what is actually seeding so three four videos back we discussed uh, about the migration and using migration we create or alter the table and next day we will discuss about how to insert data into that table using seeding so don't miss that video so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day